If we think of water, we may think of it as being something quite simple, something that is made up of the most common elements of ordinary matter, hydrogen and oxygen. It is colourless, tasteless, odourless and straightforward as such. On the other hand, water is inconceivably complex. Intricate water cycles are connected in and out of all living things that regulate and renew themselves constantly. To begin to grasp the complexity and to understand water in a broader context, we may classify it in terms of its users. Water caters for our livelihood and nourishment as drinking water. The most crucial source of our foods is irrigation of our crops. It caters for our recreational activities and establishments, aquatic ecosystems, livestock and industry. Our abilities to extract and divert water, altering the natural state to suit our growing needs have become more staggering and are increasing more and more. Water is no longer taken for granted as a plentiful resource, always available. Population growth and increasing living standards are putting heavy pressure on water resources. South Africa has a semi-arid to arid climate with an amount of precipitation of about 500 mm per annum. Despite having a coastal zone enriched with good rainfall, the majority of the country is classified as water scarce. It is mapped by a number of perennial rivers that cover a quarter of its surface, mainly in the southern, southwestern and eastern plateau parts. Our dams, abundantly scattered across the country, account for the unpredictable and nearly always seasonal rainfall. But with conditions of global warming, population increases, unpredictable precipitation and alien plant invaders reducing the quality of our water, concerns around the ability of existing suppliers to meet future water needs are growing. In response to the emerging demands, the National Water Act of South Africa addresses issues of equal distribution, efficiency in water use and recognizes a reserve allowance to meet primary and environmental water needs. The National Water Act mandates the responsibility of water resources to the Resource Quality Services, a branch of the Department of Water Affairs South Africa, whose statement as per Government Gazette is to monitor, record, assess and disseminate information on water resources, to establish national monitoring systems to facilitate the continued and coordinated monitoring of various aspects of water resources by collecting relevant information and data from a variety of sources. RQS has several divisions within itself in accordance with how the water is monitored, recorded and assessed, namely the National Toxicity Monitoring Program which reports on the status and trends of the nature and extent of potentially toxic substances in South African water resources and the potential for toxic effects of specific organisms. The National Chemical Monitoring Program which aims to provide regular reporting on the chemical quality of South Africa's surface waters National Microbiological Monitoring Program for Surface Waters which provides information on the status and trends of the extent of fecal pollution in terms of microbiological quality of surface water resources in priority areas. The River Health Program serves as a source of information regarding the ecological state of river ecosystems in South Africa in order to support the national management of these natural resources. The National Eutrophication Monitoring Program measures, assesses and reports regularly on the current trophic status, the nature of current eutrophication problems and the potential for future changes in trophic status in South African impoundments and rivers. And the National Radioactivity Monitoring Program which provides information on radioactive substances in water resources. Each of these programs depends and begins with the collection of samples of water, sediment or biota.
Different samples are taken for each program at different sites, strategically chosen from the different programs. A range of standardized methods are used to obtain samples for the different analyses. As soon as the samples are received at the laboratories at Rudaplot Dam, they are listed into an integrated computer system called Water Management System. This system allows different directorates and regions with different mandates and functions to support each other and to have access to the data. For the National Toxicity Monitoring Program, test organisms used for toxicity testing are bred in the laboratories such as zebrafish and daphneoplanktonic crustaceans. For the eutrophication program, algae are identified under the microscope. For the river health program, insect larvae, fish and riparian vegetation species are identified in the field which gives the observer an indication of the health of the aquatic ecosystem. Furthermore, the water undergoes various technically complex analyses depending on the program, such as the analyses of organic chemicals like pesticides, trace metals like aluminium or lead, nutrients like nitrate or ammonium, and other general water quality parameters. All the information gathered is computerized in different laboratories and collected in the water management system, openly accessible. The result of all these processes is a vast array of information which would not make sense unless gathered in an overview which can be used and implemented for the correct means, either by water managers or by the general public. This is done in the Outcome Division of RQS, working with visualization programs like the Geographic Information System, Satellite Images and Google Earth. Colorful visualization of data clarifies the information for non-expert individuals in order to identify trends, statuses and future management needs of a particular water resource. The data becomes accessible to everyone on the RQS webpage and is used for new programs like Google Earth. This technique allows for users to browse through South Africa and look at water quality data of all the monitoring stations in the country. The information on water quality monitored, recorded and assessed by RQS is the backbone for future management processes, making it a crucial director within the Department of Water Affairs. Measures to change and better conditions of our water should not be left to be solved by the national caretakers of water alone. Everyone must act responsible, contribute and inform others before we find ourselves approaching levels of severe water contamination and scarcity.